tastes are changing. It's not a traditional America anymore. And there are 50% of the voting public who want stuff. They want things. And who is going to give them things? President Obama. There is uh, Bill O'Reilly on our election night coverage talking about how people want stuff. And on President Obama's watch, people got more stuff than ever. So between 2008 and 2011, federal welfare payments increased by 32 percent and food stamps usage surged by 71 percent. So did an entitlement explosion help the president lock up a second term? Joining us now is Fox News senior judicial analyst Judge Andrew Napolitano. There's been so much discussion, Judge, about this so-called so tipping point when you get to 50 percent of the population who is getting some sort of a government handout. Um, and, you know, I'm careful to use the entitlement word because some people, vets and such, and Social Security Understood. and Medicare, yeah. you know, but we're talking now about food stamps, welfare, right. et cetera. Right. We're, we're talking about a dangerous situation, which, interestingly enough, was predicted 200 years ago by uh, Thomas Jefferson and Alexander Hamilton, who said, and they rarely agreed on anything, but they agreed on this, when the public treasury becomes a public trough, their word, mm -hmm. and when the voters realize this, they will only send to the government people who will promise to bring back the bigger piece of the pie. And they never imagined that that number would reach 50%. When it reaches 50 and then goes over 50, we have a situation where the half that receives from, the, or the half plus one that receives from the trough has the legal tools with which to fill the trough from the pocketbooks and bank accounts of the other half. More metaphors. So this, uh, you would think, <laughs> more truck talk. Okay. Pigs out here. You would think the cash cow would be treated like the golden goose and not touch because, after all, they're supplying the 50 percent who have been feeding at the trough. He is so smart. I thought you went to Stanford. Uh, you never know. <laughs> I, I rejected it because uh, did, the CW I... Post campus was nicer. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> but judge, why would, why don't we covet those those breadwinners more? Why are we treating them so harshly and so be badly? Because uh, the people that can control these things right now the president know the short-term political gain that they can achieve like his re-election victory two nights ago uh, as a result of giving away cash now they don't see that every dollar they take away from taxpayers whether they make a million dollars or a billion dollars right. is a dollar less to invest in the economy and produce prosperity right. and jobs. They don't see the long-term effect of raising taxes, you which know, is less economic activity, not more. Sure, and absolutely. So what you're telling us is uh, this class warfare thing is going to go on for a long time. Yes. I'm also telling you, and I'm happy to say this, and you'll know why. O'Reilly is right. <laughs> he, he truly put, in my view, his finger on the entire meaning of the evening. Mm -hmm. The people who want stuff are now a statistical majority but, of voters in the country. But it's, but it's, it's, it's also not just monetary. It's also a mindset. Would you agree with that? Yes, and I think that's the first part of Bill's statement when he said uh, the, the majority of the country no longer embraces the traditions that we were taught as children and that our parents and grandparents and ancestors uh, embraced. Things are changing right before our eyes. And uh, we need to be aware of what's happening. Yeah, the judge has written a great column on this topic. You can read the whole thing over at foxnews.com. Judge, thank you very much. For thank you, guys. Us. Have a good day.